All right, video two of the OpenCV for Python tutorial series. In this one, we're transforming an image, manipulating an image, cropping, rotating, just the basic image manipulation operations here. In the previous video, I showed an introduction of what OpenCV is, how to install it, and then the basic read, write, show functions. Now, let's get into some image manipulation. A reminder, all this code that I'm going to be working with throughout the entire tutorial series will be on my GitHub, linked below. The playlist is also linked below. And then I'll be here for comments if you have any questions. So if you get any questions throughout this tutorial, leave a comment, and then I'll try to respond to it. First step, as always, you're going to get used to this one. Import CV2. We're also going to go ahead and import NumPy right away. If you already installed CV2, I'm assuming NumPy got installed with it. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If you haven't installed CV2, go back to video one and we can get OpenCV Python installed on your computer. Now, here's the syllabus. We got resize, crop, rotate, translate. We're still gonna be working with our cat image of Ella. You can pick whatever image you want or get access to this cat image on the GitHub. Okay, we gotta read in the image first. Image equals cv2 dot im read, and then the file path, I have it in assets cat dot jpg. Then we have to specify the color cv2 dot im read underscore, whoops, color. We want it to be colored here. Let's, at the bottom, get our script to show cv2, not in caps, dot im show, window title, cat, image, cv2 dot wait key. So when we press any key, then it'll move forward with the script, cv2 dot destroy all Windows. Double check that works. So I'm running it with the hotkey there. Ella. She is so cute. Just press any key to quit. Let's see. What are we doing first? Looks like we are resizing first. Image. We're just going to overwrite the existing image. CV2 dot resize. It's well named here. Then what are we doing? We're going to resize the image. And how are we going to resize it? Let's make it 700 by 800. Run that. And it's a goofy looking shape, but we've resized it to be 800 in height and 700 in width. There's another way to resize. Let's do something like this. Let's make it 400 by 800. Very short and fat. Or it's all tall and skinny right now. Another way to resize, you do image equals cv2 dot resize image. And rather than putting pixel dimensions, we just put zero, zero, then fx equals 2, fy equals 1. What does that mean? It's just a multiplier for sizes. So if we want to make the x to be 2, uh, basically we're doubling the pixels, and then y we're going to keep it the same. And we run that, we should have our image to be 800 by 800 square. And it's 800 by 800, nice and square. We could also do something like make this 1, make this 0 0.5. So now this 800 pixels is going to turn into 400. So we'll have a much smaller square. That's what we see here. Let's keep that 400 by 400 square. On to cropping. We're not going to do image.crop here. In fact, we're going to start out getting the height and width values. 
forgot the T there. Height width equals image dot. Where do we go? Image dot shape zero, and then width is image dot shape one. If you remember from video one, image is basically a NumPy array. It's got columns, and those columns are each full of vectors. The columns are like the width, sorry, the height, and the vector length is the width of the image with the pixel values for each respective pixel. Basically, we're just going to index the NumPy array to select our particular pixels. I want to cut off the top half, maybe the top third. So that's going to be int height divided by 3. And all the pixels past that. You don't need to put height. You could put height here, but this is just simpler Python. And let's go from the 50th to the final 50th. It's 400 by 400 here, so that's going to leave me with the, the middle 300 pixels for the width. Run that. And we have our cropped tiny little person, tiny little cat here. Any key to close that. I actually want to make this a little bigger for our sake. So let's say 1,000, 1,600. Yeah. Actually, 1,000. Ah, I like the square. 2,000. Aha. Nice and big so we can see what's going on. Okay, time to rotate. Image equals, let me check my notes here. Oh yeah, it's just cv2 dot rotate, as you would expect. Okay, image. And there are some built-in things like cv2 dot rotate 180, 90 clockwise, 90 counterclockwise. We'll do the 180. And Ella is upside down. What if you want to do something that's not 90 degree increments? Image equals CV2 dot rotate image. And then angle equals, remember we're starting from the upside down picture of Ella. So let's turn it almost upside down again, 150 degrees. Run that. It doesn't work. Unfortunately, it's a little more complicated than that. So here's what we got to do. I'm going to delete this so I don't steer anyone astray. We're going to create a rotation matrix. CV2 dot rotation. What is this? Get rotation matrix 2D. We have center, angle, and scale that we get to input. So center equals... Oh, now that our width and height are different, we're going to update our width and height. Center equals height divided by 2. Actually, we got to switch this. This is going to be width. Let me check. Yeah, center equals, it's a square, so it doesn't really matter. Width divided by 2. Angle equals 150. Scale equals 1. I'm going to put those on a new line so we can see them better. And now, what this does is it maps the pixels from one part over to the pixels of a different part. It basically creates this equation. And we want to input that equation into our image pixels. So image equals cv2 dot, it's something with affine get affine transform. And then what do we need here? So our source is our image. Our destination is our rotation matrix. And then let's do, let's add width and height here because we don't want that to change. So now if we run this, we should see a little rotated image. Ah, something aired out here.
Ah, uh, it's not get affine transform, it's warp affine. So now if I run this, we got Ella who's way over there. I think I have the, oh, that's interesting. It like rotated around this point right here. Okay, I had the width and the height mixed up. That makes more sense now. Okay. So center is width and height first. Same with here in the warp affine. It's a little confusing because shape is height than width. Just a quirk that we'll have to get used to. Moving on. Now we're going to translate the image. Basically shift it over within our frame. This will give a little perspective on the rotation matrix 2D, what that M there is, because we're gonna create our own M and then put it through the warp affine function again here. So TX, how much do we wanna translate it by? We wanna trans translate it by maybe a fifth of the width. TY, let's go pretty far. Width, or sorry, height. Height divided by two. Now make our translation matrix M equals MP dot array. It's going to be two vectors within the array, one, zero, and then TX. And then it's going to be zero, one, TY. It's going to multiply all the pixels through this kind of function with the affine warp. You can look up the math on the documentation. Image equals cv2 dot warp affine. And then what was it? Image, the matrix, and then width and height. Okay, let's run that. Control shift nine is my hotkey. It might not work for everybody. And what do we see? We see Ella got pushed down half of the height and then pushed over a fifth of the width. I think I want it to be, uh, let's, let's change height to five, but make it negative. I wanna go the other direction, run that. So height, instead of going down, the cat exclamation point got pushed up. Close that. And as with the other tutorials, Let's save this final output image. So, cv, cv2.im write file path is going to be assets. This is tutorial two. Man, cat, short for manipulated cat. JPG image. Yep, got those in the right order. Run that. Goodbye, manipulated Ella. If we look at our files, we got two man cat. Exactly what we saw. That's all for video two of the OpenCV for Python tutorial series on image manipulation. You can go back to the previous video and get some information about OpenCV, basic operations and installation, or go forward in the playlist to go to the next video. We'll be learning about drawing on shapes and messing with individual pixels. As always, the code for all this is in the GitHub. Posted it below for your reference and enjoyment. See you in the next video. Happy coding.